No, that's well, true. No, but, but we do get that. But you've been the funds been there since. Anything do? I'm trying to write letters now. I can for those involved in these majors. It's kind of either the family or the individuals directly. Because actually, it's quite important that somebody which is actually volunteer. Do we actually volunteer? Do you volunteer as well? I'm sure there's a few dinners he owes. So, I may introduce you to Osna and her daughter Emma. Emma's been a beneficiary of the film. Nice to see you. Good. You had a good morning. Yeah. So, I hear Sharky George being here. Sharky George being here? Yes, Tainers. Yes, they have. Yeah. I feel like I'm the funnest one. I've been really good from with Sharky and George. I turned up. It's not so good. And, and, and have you. What did you got to say? Is that that's the, the brochure? Yes, it is. Yeah. today to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Metropolitan and City Police Orphans Fund. Over the past 150 years, as the oldest police charity in the world, the fund has provided care to the children of police officers in the hour of greatest need. Our society is defined by how we look after those who keep us all safe. It matters deeply that we help the families who play such an important role in supporting them. I'm therefore immensely proud that the Metropolitan and City Police Orphans Fund provides such comfort and reassurance to the children of police officers who have so sadly lost their lives or livelihoods. Since 1870, over 15,000 children have directly benefited from this support. And today, the fund provides around a million a year to help just over 300 children with educational costs, holidays, university fees and extracurricular activities. It has been wonderful to hear from so many of you today about the tangible impact that the support provided by the fund is having on your lives. People like Aidan Gurr, the winner of last year's Philip Cronin Award for Endeavour and Achievement. With the fund's support, Aidan has gone on to become a special constable and a graduate with a degree in paramedic science. Aidan was supposed to be here today, but I understand he was on night shift last night. So sadly, he hasn't been able to make it, and we all know how difficult night shifts can be. But many congratulations to Aidan and to everyone else here today who have achieved such great things in the face of such challenging circumstances. Finally, I want to end by thanking all the staff and the volunteers who dedicate their time to the fund. Today's event and the celebration of such a landmark moment in the charity's history is a testament to the hugely important role that you all play. Thank you. <laughs> 